Hi, in this Lightboard session we're going to talk about canonical data modeling and how to avoid some of the pitfalls of being too ambitious. Now, on the topic of too ambitious, trying to do an enterprise-wide canonical data model exercise is probably going to be a very drawn-out process. So if we look at that as an option, So if we go enterprise-wide, then the first problem is, as you can imagine, trying to get the number of people that we need in the room. So the people involved is going to be very large. So if you think about trying to arrange 20 people's worth of different schedules and trying to get a meeting lined up, it's going to take you a month to get that sorted out. Uh, the other part is that each of these people they're going to be in there making the case for their particular domain, and they're all going to be right. So they'll be arguing that this needs to be in there, and the other team will be arguing that they need their fields in there. And yes, they are correct. Now, the problem with that is that you're going to have lots of fields. So number of data is going to be massive. Because if you're trying to combine the entire organization's worth of special niche reasons to have data in the data structure, it's just got to be a yes to everyone's requests. So this will make it very unwieldy. Uh, now the other problem is that because you're exposed to all these different domains, the amount of change that you have to cope with, and that might mean that you end up with a lot of different versions, because as you're going along, you're exposed to everyone's projects, everyone's new systems, everyone's new wish list. So this will go through the roof. And you'll be trying to deliver version 1, and you'll be on version 7. Now, the other problem with different versions is that versions have a nasty habit of ending up being attached to someone. So one of the groups will say, oh, I've got my fields in there. So from, from now on, I'm just going to stay on version 1, even though you're on version 5. So deprecating old things, old versions, they hang around, so it's going to be very difficult. OK, so these are just some of the problems with doing an enterprise-wide data modeling exercise. And overall, I think the big, the big problem there is that the time it takes. If you're trying to get something out the door, and this process is going to take 6, 9, 12 months, 2 years, that's not going to be suitable, so you're going to have to make some assumptions anyway. So you will essentially make your own version that will be off the chart or off the official process. Now, let's look at narrowing the scope a bit, because this is the way to solve some of these problems. Rather than trying to boil the ocean, which is essentially what enterprise-wide is doing, let's think about narrowing it down to a given domain, so bounding the scope of what we've got. So if we talk about, instead of doing everything for the entire enterprise, we do a... We call it a bounded context. Context meaning narrowing it down to a given area and bounding it, just narrowing it down. Now, as far as the number of people that you have to get involved, you'll still have a certain number of people that you need to get involved, but it should be a manageable amount of people in an area. So there'll be limited number of people. Hopefully, this is some, something a bit more manageable than the 20 across different organizations and so on. Now, as far as the number of fields, well, because you're narrowing the scope, naturally you're going to get a subset of the total fields across your entire organization. So fields should be manageable. Should be manageable. And as far as number of versions, well, because you're doing it per section, the, the managing that change should be a little bit more manageable from a logistics perspective, from a you know, coordination perspective. So you should be able to keep a handle on that. So you're not maximally exposed to the maximum number of fields in, in the entire organization. And overall time, well again, the amount of time that you need to spend, it's a divide and conquer type equation now. Because you can have this bounded context you can have the accounts section doing theirs, you can have marketing, you can have services doing theirs. So everyone can be working in parallel, so it does change the equation quite considerably. Now, if you've already spent the time on an enterprise-wide canonical data modeling exercise, don't throw that away. You can essentially 
make use of this through a bit of a filtering process. So get what you need. Don't bring across everything. Don't try and lump in all of the data fields. So move it to something a little bit narrower focus. And that could then mean that you don't waste effort starting again. And you could sanitize it a little bit. Just move it into something more appropriate to the given domain that you're modeling at that point. OK, and that's some of the concerns that you may need to consider when you are dealing with whether to go down the enterprise wide or maybe a narrower focus of your enterprise modeling exercise. Divide and conquer is going to probably beat trying to do everything all at once. So boiling the ocean versus something a little bit more achievable.